Welcome friends, uh, my name is Eddie Wright, I'm a pharmacist at Health Life Compliant Pharmacy. Today I have Dr. Kiri Tapuzzi in here, we're going to do a switch. Wait, 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 I can't understand the thing you're saying. Wait. I think we, is, this, is this okay? Yeah, is it, I think it's probably safe. Okay. Um, well, are you, taking your, are you taking your supplements to boost your immune system? I definitely am. Maybe we should switch and talk about supplements to help boost your immune system. Immune system boost. That's definitely a great thing. Uh, welcome, friends. My name's Eddie Wright. I'm a pharmacist here at Healthway Compounding Pharmacy. Again, with Dr. Kerry Tapuzzi in here. Thanks for taking the time out. Sure. So let's start talking about this immune function boosting. Okay. What, what's going on? Hey, we're, we're not saying that you shouldn't wear masks. You know, we don't want to get in trouble. But at the same time, it's always good to boost your immune system. And there's a lot of different supplements that you can take that will help boost your immune system against viruses, bacteria, all kinds of things. Um, what should we talk about first? Well, what kind of products do you recommend in your practice? Well, you know, one thing that's pretty common to take is zinc, okay? And um, we've got some examples here, actually, that are pretty good. And the thing is, all zinc aren't created equal, unfortunately. Um, zinc, sometimes it has to be chelated. Uh, so that it absorbs better. So they, what they do is they take zinc and they add things to it so that you get better levels. It absorbs better. Those up. There's a couple yep, of brands. Couple One of is uh, one's cool. by Pure Encapsulations. Makes a really good zinc. Yeah. So these are products. These then, are products we sell here at Healthway. Uh, pure Encapsulations is like it says, pure product. And so. zinc uh, supreme is also a good one because it has really good some absorption qualities. Uh, another thing that's really important is to get your natural killer cells uh, increased in your body. And so, well, what is a natural killer cell? It's a type of white blood cell that goes around killing viruses and bacteria. And one way you can increase natural killer cells is by taking certain probiotics. Um, most people know what probiotics, but if you're, if you're not familiar, they're the good bacteria like that are in, for example, yogurt or kefir, but they also have supplements out there that have specific, and they've done studies on this that show that specific probiotics will increase your natural killer cells. Uh, we've got a couple examples here we're gonna show you. One is a company by Zymogen, they make, it's called Probiomax. Um, and then another one. Metagenics here, this is Ultraflora. Ultraflora Bio, Biome Pro. Both of these have specific probiotics that will help increase your natural killer cells. You know, so real quick, prebiotics and probiotics. Sure, okay. What is what is the well, difference? So a probiotic is, act, is the bacteria. A prebiotic is the food that the probiotic eats. So what you're doing is you're, you're, you're feeding your, your body's probiotics so that they can, they can live and they can grow. So that's what a prebiotic is, okay? I don't know if they have a postbiotic. Maybe a postbiotic is when it comes out of you. Well, I sure hope it would be post afterwards, right? Right, right. yeah, actually. So, so any other glaring things that would help with immune oh, function oh, or yeah, support? We got, a few, we got a few more things we're gonna talk about. So one is, um, one's a, a, a homeopathic remedy that's uh, it's actually a prescription. So it's something that would be hard to find. You, you actually you would have to see a physician to get it. It's called Engastol, E-N-G-Y-S-T-O-L. Uh, we call it the unflu shot because what it does is it actually boosts your immune system against the influenza virus. It also works against herpes, adenovirus, a bunch of different viruses, okay? And they've got studies that show that it helps boost your immune system. It's something that you would take every four to six weeks. It's an injection, a shot that you would do. Um, and that's one thing that if you did have any questions on that, you could contact our office or email me at drthelpdesk at, uh, what is my, drthelpdesk at gmail.com. We could put that on the bottom too. Yeah, there right you go, there. perfect. And then... Um, and I you remember know. that was we we did those vaccine or the ingredients oh, yeah. here. Right. It doesn't hurt at you all. Guys, he he guys gave it right. right to me, so it yep. doesn't hurt at all. Oh, well, maybe a little bit. Yeah. A little pinch. So the last thing we're going to talk about is vitamin C. Okay. So we're going to talk about vitamin C. So it's pretty interesting. You know, all vitamin Cs are not created equal. This is a this is a good brand right here that they have here. Um, Pure Encapsulation is also a good brand that they sell here. So the thing is, is that vitamin C, you don't want buffered vitamin C when you're taking it. You want just pure, straight, unadulterated vitamin C, and they'll just call it ascorbic acid. 
Uh, you don't want it to have any fillers in it. You want it to be just, just vitamin C. And the thing is, the dosing just depends on the person and if you have a cold or not. So, for example, let's say you're starting to come down with the flu or some kind of a viral infection. You want to start out taking about 5,000 milligrams at least a day, maybe up to 10,000 milligrams. Actually, you want to take as much as you can without getting diarrhea or loose stools, okay? And you want to consistently do that because vitamin C, when you're trying to fight off an infection, you've got to get that dose all the way up as high as you can handle it for it to really be effective. You know, a lot of people, they just take 500 milligrams, uh, 1,000 milligrams a day, and that's like, oh yeah, I take vitamin C. Well, no, that's you're just kind of playing with it. You've got to take a lot of it for it to really do something. Now, if you're not sick and you're just taking it on a daily basis, sure, one to 2,000 milligrams is okay. But if you feel like you're coming down with something, you gotta push it, push it to the limit. So now would you take that all at one time or spread it out? You could do either. Okay. You could uh, you could try taking 5,000 at one time, but if you feel like that's too much, you could split it up and maybe take some like every few hours. Great, yeah, those are great information. So again, uh, here at Healthway Compounding Pharmacy, we do offer a lot of these supplements Dr. Tapuzian's talking about. Uh, if you guys have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to us. So Dr. Dr. T, how would somebody, again, reach out to you, get ask a question? Well, your email or uh, email website? address is drthelpdesk at gmail.com. Our office number is 248-302-0473. And our uh, website is askdrt.weebly.com. A lot of information on that website. Yeah, great. That's awesome. And if you need to reach out to us here at Healthway Compounding Pharmacy, again, my name is Eddie Wright. I'm a pharmacist here. Our website is healthwayrx.com. If you need to get a hold of us, 989-791-1691, located here in Saginaw, Michigan. Wonderful Saginaw, Michigan. Yep.